Hello and welcome to Microsoft Hates Greg. My name is Greg Deckler and today we're going to be taking a look at another Power BI alternative. Um, this is an open source project called Grafana and apparently it's an open source project that I appears to have its shit together. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna lie. So basically you can go out here to grafana.com. It's this Grafana Labs. I've never really heard of these guys before, um, but I mean they got 20 million users plus worldwide and People like Roblox use them and DHL and things like Dell, things like that, Wells Fargo. Um, and basically, it's another kind of visualization platform, it, but it's, it seems like it also sort of has some real-time data components. I don't know. I haven't, again, you know, I sign up for these things and, you know, I poke around with them a little bit to see if they're worth uh, doing a deeper dive on. Um, this one, I'm pretty sure I'll be doing a deeper dive on um, in the future. Uh, but the neat thing about this one is you can run it um, in the cloud, but you can also install it locally. So run it yourself and you download it and it takes you through a nice uh, process. It actually installs as a Windows service, um, installing it on Windows. So if I bring up my services. Let's see, come down here. So there it is, Grafana, it's running locally right there as a service. So. Pretty cool. I haven't seen too many open source uh, tools that go down that route in terms of actually supporting Windows to that level. Usually it's a jar file or a Docker container or something like that. But this one's actually an actual Windows service that gets installed, which is pretty neat. Uh, let's see here. So this is, you can run it in the cloud, right? Um, and I'm all, and you know, there it is. It's got a whole administration section. It's got a whole thing about con connectors and there's these things called collectors that I haven't really messed around with, but I think those are more along the lines of kind of your real-time data components and things like that. It has the concept of integrations. Um, but the one thing that I really want to call out with this one, it has a ton of connectors. Like these, the no, number of connectors here rivals Power BI, right? I mean, that's a ton of connectors. Maybe not quite as many as Power BI, but I don't know, pretty close. Um, and that's one thing that I've seen has been most of the other tools I've been taking a look at, it's been one of the shortcomings that I've seen. Uh, and we'll probably get into it more as I do deeper dives into different uh, different tools. But one of the things I've seen as a, somewhat of a shortcoming is they don't have a lot of connectors um, that you can use basically. So, but this, this, is, this one is, doesn't have that problem. Let's put it that way. But like I said, you can run it locally. So it was very easy to get installed and running. Um, so you can see I have it running here on my laptop on port 3001. Um, and you can see it looks basically like it does in the service, right? So I have maybe have a few more options in here. That's probably because I'm on the trial at the moment. And I'm, so I have sort of the enterprise plan, I think. And eventually it'll roll back to be the trial plan or the free plan. But as they say, the actually useful free plan, right? This seems like they have quite a bit of features that you can use and 500 gigabytes of logs, 500 gigabytes of traces, 500 gigabytes profiles. I'm assuming that's like your data that you store up there and things like that. Not quite sure yet, uh, but yeah, I mean, it says, you know, but we'll see once this thing goes from trial to be the free plan. Again, they don't publish their pricing, which is annoying, but since you can run it locally, I guess you could say it's free technically, <laughs> but again, this, has so connections so you see you have you know all your connections that you have here not quite as many as in the well that's data sources Let's see data sources add a new connection get confused on this they have concept of connections and then yeah okay so they don't have the integrations they just have the data sources so it comes with a certain data sources installed the other ones you get by basically by plugins essentially so let's say i say a csv csv data source for grafana i can say install and it installs that plugin so now i can use it as a data source so pretty cool stuff easy to do again so now i have a few data sources created here so i was able to connect to my ventureworks my local sql server now i, I could not get the windows authentication working I had to do it via database authentication. Not sure why the Windows authentication wouldn't work, but it, I couldn't get it to work that way. I was also able to connect to Google Sheets. It's kind of 
it's a little janky, I would say, in some respects, in terms of the authentication. They do give you instructions on what you have to do to get it working. I was able to get it to work, but it uses these like JWT files and API keys. And I don't know why it just doesn't support OAuth, but it doesn't. So, but you have to do it in different ways, right? So that I think was a little bit of kind of, eh, not quite sure about that. And then I was able to build some dashboards. So once you have some data source, you can use it to create a dashboard. And this probably, I need to dig into this more in terms of working with the tool and figuring out how to use it in that. But I was able to create some panels, right, of some numbers. <laughs> and, and this is where I think I wasn't quite as happy about some of the, some of it. But again, I probably just need to, to mess around with it. So if I go in here, I am editing the dashboard. If I edit this tile, for example, it comes up and it's got this panel options, which I initially found kind of confusing in that. But then I can, you know, if I think about it in terms of the visualizations pane, it's really no different, right? You have these different cards and then you have settings beneath it that you can set. I'm just not familiar with these settings, right? I'm very familiar with Power BI settings, but not familiar with these settings. But this is where, and maybe it's I just haven't really gone into it enough, but it's sort of limited in, in terms of it makes you build SQL queries. Right. And then you run the query and then things show up here is the way it works, um, which, again, like if I want to have a bar chart where I have, OK, I want the sum of my fact table and then I want to group it by a dimension. Right. I don't see where I can do that. I'd have to write the join myself. And that seems kind of annoying. Uh, it'd be nicer to have a little bit nicer interface for building these queries uh, versus basically that seems like, well, you need to write SQL too bad. And I don't know, I really haven't played with it enough on some of the other ones, but it seems like even if I'm using Google Sheets or something like that, it's kind of similar in that way, the way it works. But I was able to get some things displayed on a dashboard, right? And then I can sit here and say, okay, it has a bunch of different visualizations. I didn't really see a map visualization, but it has like your scatter plots and trends and logs and geo map. I guess this is the map. I maybe have to play with that one. I mean, now I look at it, GeoMap, yeah, that would be a map, Greg. So news and RSS feed reader, right? The histogram, text, heat maps, pie charts, state timelines, gauges, stats, right? And it's kind of nice. It gives you some suggestions in that sort of thing. So if you want to turn it into a, this visual into something else like this, then you can do that pretty easily. But I think I'll just keep this one to be a stat. And I guess I haven't really played around a lot with what I can do in terms of vertical stat. I'm not sure how that works, but auto. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so I have to play around with this more. It definitely looks like a tool that I want to find out more about, right? In terms of just in looking at it, I can say it's not like <laughs> whatever it was, BERT um, or Apache superset where I'm just immediately writing those off and I'm not going to take any further look at them because my first use and impression of them was so terrible. This looks like a platform that I, I would be willing to take some time and, and invest some, some of my time to get to know better and figure out, is there better, any better options for doing these queries, any nicer interface? But I would definitely say that where this one, I think is, uh, I think it can do basically essentially what Power BI does. I don't think that this would be self-service just the way it's set up in terms of having a user expect to know SQL essentially to do, you know, more than just trivial type type of uh, graphics, I guess you could say. So that is all I have for this video. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.